think we're on to something, boys. Hey, 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 so I think we're on the gold, and it's my birthday. Here we are breaking up some bedrock using our sucker dredge to uh, move that material. But first, we're going to go ahead downstream where we got started doing some prospecting until we come along to this spot. So without further ado, come along with us and stay tuned. Hit that like button. See if we can find some birthday gold. Get on the old booteroos. I'm gonna go find me a little birthday nugget. At least a birthday flake, let's go. All right. So as you can see, we're on a river over here and we are in Tumaline County or Tumaline County or whatever. And this is actually private property but we have access here today permission and I wanted to just share we have some bigger granite like rocks over here and we have this wash which looks like material that's getting built up over some some wa uh, weather and then we have our shovel here we got these two big boulders uh, they're not the best looking bedrock. We haven't been here for quite a while. They have fractures, I'm not super smooth, but we have this spot in here. We're gonna dig out this material and see if we can't find any heavies or any gold in here. And if we can find some gold here, that'd be great. And uh, that'll give me the motivation to keep searching for where the best gold is. Looks like we have some piece of metal right here, but um, then we have that bank line, which we could also consider checking. But I want to go ahead. We want to start right here. And then um, we'll see what type of material that brings out. If, uh, if that's not, you know, if there's gold here, we'll start here. So here we are speeding up and it's our birthday today. So I had a lot of fun just going out, kind of relaxing, taking it easy, doing a little bit of prospecting. And any day finding gold is better than a day uh, without finding gold. So yeah, just follow along. We uh, check a few spots here and um, we go ahead and find some bedrock to expose and different things. And, and we do find gold. So just stay tuned and stick with us and we appreciate you. We had loads of black sand, but there's no gold in the first pan. So let's go for pan. So I'm curious, all you guys that are watching this video, how many of you guys actually prospect yourself? Or do you guys do pay dirt bags? Do you actually go to the woods? Do you do you, know, do you go by yourself? Do you go with a partner? Uh, do you do any prospecting? And, and what's your average uh, gold recovery rate on a day, any given day? Comment. Okay, so that one did yield a few flakes of gold. Not, well, not flakes, more specks. So there was like three specks in there that I could confirm for sure. And that's a good sign. So <coughs> I knew there'd be gold in this creek. There's claims above me, claims below me. There's just no claim right here because I know it's private property. And the person that owns the property has no interest in pursuing the gold. But there are three flakes. So... The problem I'm running into now is if we look in our hole, I just ran into the water, the water table. So any more digging down from here, it's gonna be extremely hard to capture that gold because it's in the water. So I I don't know how to divert a water table in what appeared to be already dry creek bed, but the problem is when you get down below here, I mean, this creek's still below us. It's just at that level there this is material above it so we have a sucker my little sucker doodad but i left that back in the camper i believe so ah i've never really been in this predicament because now i look at all this like all of this material here no matter where i dig on this bar there's going to be a point at a, like about a foot below where I'm going to hit the water table. So, yeah. What do you guys normally do who have experience with this? Dig through it anyway? 
or go to a spot where there's, you know, virgin material up on the bank. <coughs> uh, I should have brought my little, my hand dredge, my little sucker nozzle, which uh, I could always go back for it. I'm going to go double check to make sure it's not in the truck, but I think it's not with me. Here's the plan. We have a good target underneath here. And then if you zoom over to there, we have a good target right about there. And then we have, it's doing something inside the hole we already started. So I'm going to continue digging here based on the fact we found the three specks. I'm going to do another pan here. And then we're getting into some water here. And then we're going to dig out this spot along with the spot over there to see what that target is. And we can't keep following this gold to the best gold. So all you prospectors, what's your preferred method of recovery? Do you like a pan? Do you like a sluice box? Do you like a high banker, a dredge? There were a few micro specs in this pan. I just didn't even try to record them because they were too small. All right, target number one. Oh boy, I really like the way that signal sounds. So whatever it is, seems to be in the pan. Let's pan it out. that crazy single in there and we're also getting a single in here still so this thing's saying all kinds of stuff I don't know we're about to find out uh, so we never did actually figure out what was signaling from the metal detector in the pan, but if I were to take a guess, there was some really shiny mineralized rocks that I'd, I'd detect as maybe would be considered were hot rocks. Uh, but that's all I could really say from after I was sorting through and looking at all these relatively carefully. Uh, I did save a few pretty shiny rocks, uh, but that's about it. I don't know what the signals were on the metal detector, but I can say, you see that little speck in the top of the black sand? That's a nice speck. That's a nice flake of gold. So we actually have a few in this, this pan. They look sun washed, but they are golden. They're golden gold. See how they're not moving? They have a resistance to moving with the black sand. The one's moving. But that is gold. So there most certainly is gold in this creek. It was actually from that, this spot here where I took that first uh, signal. I took a second shovel full and we got a few decent flakes. I'm really excited to go to that signal up there, but I'm gonna do a few more pans here. See if we can't get enough to show you a line of gold. Hey guys, so as we are here digging this hole, can you guys give me a little bit of constructive criticism? What, what, could you, uh, what would you like to see more of? What would you like to see less of? Uh, is there a way that I could speed these videos up or want them to be longer? Like, what would you prefer? Let me know in the comments below what uh, what you think about the content so far and if there's any way I can improve it for you guys and if anyone wants to help. Alright, trying to show you the gold. Um, very hard to do one handed, but if you look at that, that right there, and then four or five specks. Looks whitewashed right now, but that is indeed gold. It's here, just a little, a little bit of it. Look at all that black sand. But yeah, we have some gold, so. That one, that's a speck right there. Question is, do you uh, keep digging? So there's gold in that pan, there's gold in that hole. It's not the best gold. It's definitely not the biggest gold I've found. The biggest issue I have here, which this isn't my preferred place to go. 
I'd rather be a mile upstream or two miles upstream. That's where the, the, the ground looks great. The issue is I'm not going to go claim jumping. A mile upstream and further is all actively claimed. So I know for a fact there's good gold up there. I mean, there's gold down here, but the better gold is probably upstream. So, um, or then there might be better gold down deeper here. I just have to get there because there is still people prospecting downstream. Well, actively mining downstream. I just personally, with what I'm finding so far, if I was going to continue working this creek, I would be going upstream. As a matter of fact, it looks like a really nice boulder boulder situation going on up to here. Might go up there and take a look because I know I have a, a good about a mile or so that I can go um, up this creek. But and then so far we are digging gold out of this hole here and it's in water so I could be gold could be falling off the shovel right into the hole and there might be good gold right where I'm sitting. It's just harder to extract because we're in the water and I don't have the proper tool. Um, just for me being a shovel in a pan. So, um, yeah, I'm going to debate what we're going to do from here. I'm just happy to see a few specks in the pan. Um, that's always a good sign. Yeah, hey, Matt, that's an old, like, portion of a culvert. There's some bedrock, and we're pretty far above the actual current river level. So, there's another piece of an old culvert right here. So, at some point, the river was all the way up there, and as I walked down here... There's something really interesting. So we had some digging there. So I want to maybe take a pan there. Right here, that layer right there is a hidden layer of, uh, it looks like virgin bedrock or virgin river gravels that was flowed you know, at some time right in this layer. So I definitely want to take a sample from right here. But what I'm excited to do which is one of the first or the first time I'm getting to do this myself is I found some bedrock in the creek here. Got some stuff built up here behind it, but I have my bedrock breaking tool and a pickaxe. And this is some fragile bedrock, but it's got some moss built up in the cracks. And um, it looks like there's a chance we're gonna be able to bust these cracks of this bedrock up right here. And if we're lucky, We'll find some bigger chunks of gold that weren't able to be captured before. And then we're going to go ahead and expose the back of this. And I can see in the creek here, right here, is also bedrock with a crack in the middle I can clean out. So, and here's another crack in the bedrock. Actually, that's one of them dimple hole things. So there's some bedrock right here I can work that's shallow. As well as that. And then coming into this, we have this old like looks to be some sort of damming structure that just got obliviated. And I looked on the other side of that and it actually all collects right in the center there where that water goes through. There's some really nice looking material, the whole length of that, but it's deeper than my current boots. If I bought them waders in the last town I was at, I'd be in there right now, but I'm excited to see if we don't have any Dead rock gold right here. I think we're gonna find some more gold. Let's see. show you this looks juicy let me get this out of here that's all dirt right there not all of it but it could, you know there's dirt there there's some dirt here which will wash all that off in there And I'll be honest, I don't know if I've ever been so hopeful, but that's actually busted out there. Okay, I'm gonna let the water settle and get out the sucking tool.
I think we're on to something, boys. Last pan, but there's definitely a few more flakes right there in the middle of the screen. That is the biggest flake of the day. So that's a speck or a flake, but there's definitely about five or six more colors. That was just a quick pan back, and uh, that flake came out of this crack or that crack. But yeah, I mean, as long as I'm catching flakes, I'll sit here and clean bedrock all day. Um, obviously the more flakes, the better and the more valuable, more profitable my time is. But as of right now, man, it's my birthday and I really don't care. I just want to see gold. So fun, fun. I really have 6% or so battery and I wanted to show you this. So it's too deep unless I actually walk bedrock to bedrock. But I just came over here a moment ago and recognized this is where the gold's gonna be. So, we have a different color mineralization sitting here. So this looks like heavy material, but I spent hours and hours and hours researching how to find gold and whatnot. Here we go. So these are some big, heavy rocks, and they're coming out of that central point here. So if this was way up right now and the, ri ri the river was rushing, it would come in right through there. And then over here, we have that little levee or that little bar that's created. So there's some sort of, um, you know, got a lot of light stuff dropping out there. I don't think that would be best, but it's good to notate that we have a, you know, lighter stuff dropping out here. And then we have heavy stuff coming in this inner size, inner bend here. There's some pretty big boulders like that. And then, if we come over here, I don't want to go swimming right now, but we got all of this real heavy buildup coming in. It looks like it's just plowing right up in and further, and you're getting pushed into there really heavily. We got this tree that not so recent past fell. We're going to go and take a sample of the under the root system of that tree. There could be a good payday in the root system there. I'm super excited. I walked around this corner and saw that, and I don't see any indication. Oh, I fall. I don't see any indication of anyone else testing this tree. So I'm super excited to be, I think, the first person that's ever going to get to see that material underneath that tree. And by the age of that tree, I have a feeling that root system's holding some gold. Kind of fell in. So put on my boater shoes and i rolled up my sweatpants which were underneath my other pants which are now over there on the bank along with the boots um i feel like i had to switch gears from uh, dry prospecting to wet prospecting and let me tell you it's october 23rd and it is freaking cold in this creek but i'm finding specks of gold so there goes the crazy and uh, hypothermia type of shit. I don't fucking know. But I went over there. I tested that um, tree root system. Like we said, that's when I fell in. And I didn't find anything in the first pan. I was like, you know what? It looks really juicy over here. There's some really nice boulder action over there that I didn't um, post on the video. Because I didn't see it till after. But why am I going to leave these crevices when we're finding decent chunks of gold? And a decent bit of it. Um... When there's more right here, easy to access, go look for more gold. No, like, I spent a lot of time looking for gold. When you finally find gold, get it.
camera died while I was trying to show you some bedrock that we sawed. But regardless, um, we may go back there tomorrow and prospect. Here's a snuffer dump. This is what we found in the uh, creek over here. And that pretty much wraps up this video. Tag along, subscribe if you like it. See you in the next one. Peace.